enjoying himself, shunting back and forth doing the breakdown rides. Lots of visitors came to see him, as he was such an old engine, and still in very good condition, and easily matched the other engines for popularity. Then, over in the siding, he noticed a new arrival, an engine just as old as him, in his lovely old livery too. Now, hello, I've not seen you before. No, I've just come out of the paint shop. It's been repainted into my old livery. I do feel wonderful. Aren't you one of the fat controllers' engines? Yes, we're here for one month for an exhibition. You are lucky to have such a kind controller. I was nearly scrapped. Then I was bought for a new preserved railway. What's a preserved railway? Old lines that have closed down. People are reopening them as tourist attractions, so people can come and see what it was like to travel behind a steam engine. As soon, them diesels will have taken over completely. Edward had seen scrapyards full of steam engines, and it always made him shiver at the thought of it. Well, old boy, um, we need to give you a test run to make sure everything's working properly. Excuse me, why don't you do my brake van rides while my crew stops for lunch? Ah, what a good idea, Edward. Would you like to do that, Jim? Oh, yes, please. Jim really did enjoy working again after such a long time, and the visitors loved him. Not only did they get to see the famous engines of Sodor, but Jim too. Quickly, the Preservation Society representative got to work handing out leaflets of the new railway opening that summer. That evening, Edward stayed outside to talk to Jim, and the next morning whistled goodbye as Jim set off for his new life. Mm -hmm.